the morning of Thursday, March the 9th, started as usual until the media space suddenly came alive with a report that a train and a Lagos State government staff bus had collided on a level crossing spot at the PWD area of the metropolis. The report says a total of six passengers who were government workers died in the accident, while more than 50 others survived to tell the story. Aduke Maman died in the accident. Her family still finds it difficult to believe that a young woman who was full of life before leaving home for the office was no more. Their home in the solar area became a mecca of sympathizers. I was in Yanapaja waiting for her for his call. All along we communicate together. The next is then is to tell me that we lost in car. That is, as at that moment, it met her dead body in the mortuary. So we are just thinking maybe where the train put mouth in the bus, that is where she's sitting down, in between that side. Nobody as at now, nobody to tell us that okay, this is the particular place in car is sitting down in the bus. So where's the body now? Still the mortuary Satyaba. In these 125 years of railway transportation in Nigeria, the country has witnessed several accidents, although with scanty data about fatalities, serious and mild injuries sustained in these accidents. According to Statista, a digital platform specialized in market and consumer documentations, there were over 500 train accidents in Nigeria in 2018 alone. Of these, 222 were caused either by loss of control or locomotive failure. Detachment and derailment were the second and third most common train accidents that occurred in the country in the period under review. Each time a railway accident happened, there is always a reaction from the government, its agencies and other stakeholders. But few days after, such reactions subdued naturally as other events overtake the temporary frenzy. And so, the nation waits till another accident happens. Babatunde Farin Loye is the Lagos Sector Commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps, an agency of government with statutory responsibilities for road safety administration in Nigeria. He highlights some causes of avoidable accidents like this latest one. We saw that, one, there was no level crossing gates. So on the part of the NRC, that was a minus, it wasn't too good. And on the part of the driver, there was a little bit of impunity because others stopped, he refused to stop. Another thing is that we were made to understand that he was even making calls when that, when that accident happened. He was making calls, he used a phone, a piece. So that was part of the thing. But for us to say that we have not been doing our best in educating people, it is wrong. The management of the Nigerian Railway Corporation has set up a high-level uh, investigative inquiry headed by myself. Uh, we commenced work immediately after the accident. I've uh, visited the site. I uh, actually know the area quite well. And uh, we're in a, in, a, in a position to have a, an understanding of what actually happened there. It was avoidable, we could avoid it, if the driver has abided with the protocol in terms of waiting at the railway crossing. And you see, the state has set up a committee that we are going to look a lot of things holistically. How these drivers are being employed in, how they need to build their capacity. And I'm sure after that, the committee will come and give us holistic information about what they've done. And we'll be able to learn a lot of lessons. Although management of the Nigerian Railway Corporation has repeatedly made effort to put safety measures in place around rail tracks with chains of awareness programs to support such effort in the past, there is obvious need to do more or change strategies. We have called on tapes. 
Are and you sure? Yes. We have con you we So why that. don't you use it? No, 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 no. I told you we use it. I'm an expert. I'm a disaster manager. I've been on this job for over 30 years. I can use my discretion. What do I want to achieve? I don't want people to go in there. So what I did is that I used that match as my inner condor because I'm going to use a lot of heavy duty equipment. Can't you see the crane outside? You see, the purpose of condom is to prevent that con that match to me as the incident commander has already achieved what I wanted to achieve in condom need the place of. Safety consciousness has been one of the watchword that we preach when we go anywhere. We have sensitization, we have advocacy visits to churches, to mosques, to schools, to marketplaces, to parks, educating people on the dangers inherent in the use of phone while driving, on SEO overtaking, speeding, use of phone while driving, and other things, drunk driving, drunk driving, and other things like that. But unfortunately, people are still uh, enmeshed in all these, uh, all these uh, mistakes, and that is the cause of the accident on the road. It is a continuous battle. Um, we have traders, we have trespassers, we have people walking along the track, we have vehicles on the track, uh, and this is a bit of a problem. Um, as you well know, the, the track has also been fenced, you know, and, and people, like you said, uh, tear down these fences. Now, we have task force that go out there on a daily basis, you know, to clear people out. You clear them in the morning, by the night they are back again. So it's a daily occurrence for us. Uh, it's something that we're used to doing. We've also um, engaged the uh, services of uh, state governments to assist us. So, uh, like, on Monday now, I'm meeting with Lamata to see how we can continuously, you know, drive uh, people away from the track uh, in the Lagos uh, area. Uh, we also do a lot of sensitization, right? both uh, public uh, media, um, press, both uh, visual and written. Uh, we go to local authorities, we go to uh, local, uh, local rulers, chief the um, rulers, and, and you know, try to continuously educate people about the hazardous nature of the railway. You, know, you have to remember, uh, it's very difficult to stop a train. And then there's this issue of when there's an emergency, how do you stop the train? The practice in many countries of the world is to install and maintain warning light or bells to warn of approaching trains, especially at level crossing. But in Nigeria, such bells and lights are rare to find. In India, for instance, a technology known as Kavaj has contributed to the prevention of train accidents in the country. Kavaj is an indigenously developed automatic train protection system which the Indian authority claims is one of the cheapest safety technologies with the probability of error being won in 10,000 years. The Nigerian authority can borrow a leaf from India which boasts of a rail network graded as the fourth largest in the world. If you look at um, industry best practice, there are three ways of doing this. Right? You have the manual, you have the automated, and like I said earlier, you have the grade separation. The safest is always going to be grade separation. However, you know, we have some historical railways in Nigeria whereby you know, to, to do the grade separation will be quite expensive and quite difficult. And in those places, we have in the past already done some automated um, level crossing. Now the problem with that is they also get hit. We've had cars hit them, cars in a rush to pass them. So, you know, even if you have the automated, you need to have the backup. And the backup is to have a human intervention, as well as, you know, like I said earlier, great separation is, is the ideal situation. The immediately after that, 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 that crash, last man was on ground, last man was there, the IIG, the commissioner, and the prom we all promised that the case would be investigated. FRS will investigate, the police will investigate, Lagos State Government will also investigate. And if the driver is, is uh, culpable, he will be prosecuted, definitely prosecuted. Experts believe that education and sustained awareness campaigns are crucial in the reduction of rail accidents in Nigeria. Many drivers, especially public drivers, do not understand the dangers of railway intersections as they take unnecessary risk around there. Like it is done in places including India and China, technology can help improve railway safety. By using sensors and other technologies, assigned personnel can detect when vehicles or people are in danger and take appropriate measures to prevent accidents.
with recent government reforms in the railway transport sector which has revived the citizens interest in that mode of transportation a sustained safety strategies in and around the trains would definitely create more confidence among rail users oba adeoye arise news lagos